Hello everybody and welcome to a very special date. We are here at the heart of Audi Sport in Neuburg an der Donau in Bavaria, Germany. And we've got some really exciting news. The new Audi RS3 LMS just broke cover now. There it is, and it looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? So we all can't wait to see that car out there on the racetrack. But for now, of course, we are really happy to have it standing here with us so we can have a closer look to it and talk about it with the manager in charge, the head of Audi Sport Customer Racing, Chris Reinke. Hello, Chris. Hello. There it is, your new baby. Finally, the new car has been uh, revealed right now, uh, quite early actually in 2021. What a surprise from Audi Sport. Absolutely, it fills us with pride that we can launch this beautiful car and therefore kick off the season 2021 as we love to do it with some sensation. <laughs> Very good. And this car will be racing in the different TCR championships. Um, how is TCR actually positioned within the world of Audi Sport customer racing? Since the launch of our first RS3 LMS 2016 uh, of Audi Sport Customer Racing, it is our fourth pillar uh, within our portfolio. And we see how it has been accepted and raced all around the world with 180 cars being built up to now. It is actually the model with, within one generation, the biggest volume worldwide. And therefore, it was our desire, so also for the next generation, that we have once again an RS3 LMS on the grid. So TCR is a really global racing platform and Audi is really very um, successful there. But what actually is TCR? This is something we would like to dig a bit deeper into now. So a huge success story for Audi Sport, but this also means, Chris, that this car now steps into really big shoes, right? Absolutely, big shoes to fill. But when we developed the new car, we had an absolute focus on our customers. Is it set of options? Is it cost efficiency, ergonomics? Whatever there is, we try to make the car a better value for our customers. So one really important aspect uh, about TCR is costs and affordability. How about that for the new car? Running cost, investment cost are always priority one, and it has to have a value for our customers, otherwise we don't do it. And what is going to be the next steps now for the new Audi RS3 LMS? Obviously now it's a big milestone to eventually launch a new car. The next half year it will be intense testing to make it bulletproof before in the second half of this year we'll then make it available to our customers. So thank you very much, Chris, for all the explanation. We wish you all the best for this car and for all the work that still has to be done. Thank you. Now we have the chance to talk to the project manager of the new Audi RS3 LMS, Dr. Andrea Miloko, who is here with us today, of course, also. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Mario. So let's talk a bit about some technical aspects of this wonderful car. Again, it's based on the road uh, version, as stipulated by the rules, actually. That's correct. It takes advantage from all qualities and highlight of the road car. The body shell, for example, comes from Ingolstadt, while the two liter four cylinder engine comes from our plant in Gerb, in Hungary. What did you do to offer your customers the best possible value for money? By everything we did, we kept an eye on costs. We used the synergies within the Volkswagen Group for development and production. We maximized the mileage limit for the components and our customers worldwide benefit from a comprehensive service network, from a reliable part supply, 
and from a continuous development of the racing cars along its life cycle. The 340 horsepower 2 liter four cylinder engine is the last Evo 4 generation of our four cylinder unit. And with the previous generation of this engine, our customers made already tens of thousands of kilometers without troubles on the racetrack. The new tuning system is made for being less sensitive from impact from the bottom. The new gearbox is very robust, the new clutch is lighter, and together with the new drive shaft, we further improved the mileage limit and the reliability of the car. And how about aerodynamics? Any changes there? The new aerodynamics have been developed entirely with the support of the CFD, of the Computational Fluid Dynamics. Okay, thank you very much for now, Andrea. We'll hear more now about aerodynamics and CFD from the man who is in charge of the development of this wonderful brand new car, Detlef Schmidt. He is going to show us now some more really interesting facts that you should know about the new Audi RS3 LMS. Like Andrea already mentioned, the aerodynamics fully have been developed with the help of CFD. Here you can see the top view of the car with the air scoops in the bonnet where we packaged uh, different versions in order to optimize the airflow through the engine bay and minimize the drag. In TCR, all is about speed. Drivers need to be fast and mechanics as well. To change the setup of the suspension very quickly, we can remove shims here and change the camber and the toe. We have developed a complete new brake system. The ventilation is improved, a caliper cooling is added. This improves the brake performance and the consistency. In the cockpit, we support the driver even better. We have got a central module on the steering wheel, a keypad with 12 main functions, all in order to make the driver comfortable and not use too much of his attention maneuvering the switches. As always for Audi, safety first. We have the Audi Sport protection seat, which is mounted more inside to the longitudinal axis of the car. We have the protection nets, we have the side impact protection system in the door and the roof hatch in the case of an emergency, the extraction team can open, remove the helmet very gently and can insert the KDE, the Kendrick extrication device. So great new technology with lots of benefits for the teams. But it's not only about customers who want to race that car, it's also about a fascinating range of road cars from Audi Sport. The RS3 LMS is directly derived from the standard production car. And this is why we would now like to talk to the director, sales and marketing of Audi Sport GmbH, Rolf Michelt. And there he is, Rolf. Great Hi. to have you here. Thank you. So, Rolf, racing improves the breed. That's yeah. a well-known sentence and fact, actually, in yeah. motorsports. And it certainly is true for the production-derived TCR category, isn't it? Absolutely. So, the, the R and RS models, they are building a perfect base for racing because you have to know all our series cars, they've shown their capabilities on the racetrack for so many times during the development process. And all of them are closely linked to the race car. And it continues by the design, which is closely developed by Audi Design in a close cooperation with the Audi Sport customer racing colleagues. So of course, the race car and the series car is closely linked. One great thing about the TCR is that it allows uh, private teams to race globally with very reasonable budgets. This is also something that some of your um, retail organizations, the national retail organizations and the dealers like very much, right? So many of our dealerships have been backing the programs of their customers for many years. And for us, it's a perfect marketing tool to showcase on the one hand the performance of the r and RS models, but also the performance of the whole Audi brand. And then talking about this wonderful looking yeah, car. It's uh, <laughs> always stunning if I see it, really. 
it still has kind of a um, camouflage livery. Why is that? Yeah, so you all know about the members of the A3 family yet. Uh, and with this car, we have something where we anticipate something where we don't have a road car yet. That's why we can't show it now, but I can just promise you it will drive amazing. <laughs> Great. I think this makes us curious to see more in the near future. Absolutely. Anyway, thank you very much, uh, Rolf, for all your explanations, too. I think we already learned a lot now about the new Audi RS3 LMS, and we know that it's a race car for drivers with any background. For example, young upcoming drivers, also for gentlemen drivers, amateurs, and of course, for professionals. <laughs>